Zero, 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 zero. Let's just say that the leg was on. Everything worked up until you got to, I don't know, halfway down. You got to this combination here. When you got to here, the leg came on. How do you fix it? You enter one, zero, zero, zero. Just check uh, voltage on the way back from the LED. Yeah, well, first of all, on paper, what you're going to do is you're going to erase all this. This is why I said you, when you draw it, spread it out as much as possible because you're going to need to do quite a bit of work with plotting. And if you take any shortcuts, it's going to start getting complicated. So draw it nice and big, get an eraser. So we said that everything worked until we closed this switch here. So we had one, zero, zero, zero. So that's what you're going to plot. This is a, I'm just going to use a red here. This is a one inverted as a zero. This is a zero, inverted as a one. Zero and one is zero. This is a zero. My D is a zero. Zero and zero, zero. That's a zero. I've got a zero and a one. I've got a zero. I've got a one. My B is a zero, inverted to one. That's a zero. That's a zero. Zero and one is a zero. Zero, zero. This light is off, or should be off. But it's on. Where's the problem? We don't know until we test. So again, you're going to take the red, and you're going to go wherever there's a 1, it's meant to be 5 volts. Wherever there's a 0, 0 volts. If ever you come across the output here, 3, and you get 5 volts, you know you have a problem here. Could it be that maybe this wasn't wired properly, or the pin one here was going to pin one instead of pin two? You're going to make these mistakes, okay? But at least you know how to pinpoint the mistake. Are we okay? Yeah. One other thing. How do you test them on the pins? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which one is pin one? Here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where's eight? Here or here? Bottom. Bottom. Nine, it goes this way here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Before you do what I just told you to do, what you should be doing as well, is remember that the chip has to be powered up. Pin seven is the ground. ground. And pin 14. So before you actually do what I just told you to do, you're going to take your leads and go to pin 7 and 14. Make sure it's powered up. Because if it's not powered up, it's not going to work. It may actually work sporadically, but it's not going to work consistently. And it's going to drive you bonkers. Okay. Yeah, you're going to meant, to, you're meant to get 5 volts between 7 and 14. So that's how the LED would be powered if even if all the switches were open? It's through, through the circuitry. Okay, because every chip is powered. Yeah, getting back to what you just mentioned and what uh, Kenji just mentioned. Uh, so we saw before when we were plotting, the output here was a 1, and so the output there was a 1. Well, 1 is 5 volts. That's why the LED is on. The circuitry is allowing that current to flow, and the LED comes on because of that, even though you're starting with 0, 0, 0, 0. But remember, you have inverters that are flipping into a 1. If there'd be no inverters, take the inverters off here, the output would be zero. But inverters invert from zero to one, one to zero. That's how it's possible. Okay?